Well, hey folks, how y'all doing? Welcome back in Old Man on the Pellet Grill. I'm going to do a chuck roast. Uh, I have yet to get chuck roast perfection, or as I call it, chuck roast nirvana, on the uh, Rectech Pellet Grill. And we're going to try again. Chuck roast is a different beast to cook. Uh, and, and people in the comments sections usually tell me their experiences and how they've been able to do it, and I think that's great. Um, it varies every time. I, you know, I want to do it so I can pull it, so it's pulled beef. So getting it up to that 210-ish, 211 internal to get it to pull is sometimes difficult. So we're going to take this up, uh, and you can see you're wondering what I'm using there for seasoning. I've got the John Henry's uh, Apple Chipotle Rub. If you can find that stuff, folks, I'll tell you what, it, it is very, very nice. Um, got the Rectech set at 225. You see we're smoking away there. Just put it on. I would anticipate this to take almost eight hours at some point around the 175-ish mark internal. I will be wrapping it with some uh, beef broth and putting it back in and uh, you, I'll keep cooking folks. Uh, why don't you just keep on watching? Alright folks, uh, three and a half hours into the cook, uh, the Rectech sitting and bumped it up. Did about the first two and a half at 225, now bumped up to 250. Kind of in the stall right now. Uh, see uh, the thermal pen is reading right around 151, 152. So we'll take this up to, like I said, 180-ish, then we'll wrap them, put it in there, and take it into the 210-ish area before we try to pull it. Uh, I'll give you a look-see as we proceed. Stay tuned. Right, folks, there it is. I apologize. The tin foil is making this look brighter. But uh, we're up to 185. We've got past the stall. I'm going to add uh, some uh, carrots and uh, some taters. Cover that up. And then just... Uh, some juice. I'm just going to put a little bit more of that apple juice that I was spritzing with. Cover this up real good, nice and tight. Put it back on the uh, on the pellet grill. Take this up to, like I said, every every chuck roast is different what it pulls at. So I'm thinking maybe two ten ish, and uh, we'll give you a look see once we get there. Stay tuned. All right, folks. There it is. Uh, it is about. Uh, that that was about ten hours uh, total cook. Slows it down a little bit when you put the potatoes. In there, you know, obviously it's got to come back up to heat. I did have an issue with the pellet grill. Uh, I had a uh, first time, uh, two and a half years with the Rectech Mini, and uh, we, we had a pellet jam. So, uh, fortunately, I, I was out there and I saw the temperature going down, and I listened and I couldn't hear the auger. Uh, so, I was able to save everything by taking this all in a tinfoil and putting it in the oven at 300. So, the last uh, last hour was in the oven, so I admit that. But uh, we did get all the pellets cleaned out and got the pellet jam out of there, so the, the Rectex good to go. You can see our uh, pulled beef here is, uh, I'll tell you what, look at that. I mean, that's that's what you want out of a chuck roast. That is, uh, heard me say this before, but that's right there. That's, that's chuck roast nirvana right there. Got the potatoes in there. Going to make myself up uh, a sandwich. And uh, folks, hope you give this a shot. Uh, chuck roast is probably one of my more favorite things to do. Uh, it is a challenge, but once you figure it out, it is delish. And folks, uh, I've got to, I got to take a, just a little bit of a taste test here. You can see we got a nice little smoke ring on there. And let's just see. Nice smoke. Nice smoke. Apple juice and that... Uh, Seasoning we put on there was fantastic. Folks, thumbs up, leave a comment. As always, I can't say it enough. I do appreciate you watching.